Hello, welcome to my bliss, my pair bliss. What is CBD oil and how can you use it for your parrot? I'm Kaylin, the author of The Pair Bliss Bond, and this is my African Cape parrot, Macy. Macy is female because she's got that pretty salmony coral, coral, that's a good name for that color, uh, on her forehead. I love my Cape parrots. I want another female. Anyway, CBD oil. What is the deal with CBD oil? CBD oil is really interesting because it is an oil that um, can be beneficial for your parrots. When I've talked to my experts, which include my vet, my mentor, who is a world-renowned expert, he wrote Citiculture, Tony Silva, they all like these oils, CBD oil, hemp oil, and they all use them. CBD oil and hemp oil come from the same plant, but they're not the same thing. Now, um, well, let's see. So CBD oil, it does not have THC, which is gonna be the hallucinogenic. Technically, because there can be a trace of anything, you will find that um, CBD oils will say that they're like 0.999, or, you know, that kind of thing. So basically, you're not going to have your parrot hallucinate. <laughs> Hallucinogize, hallucinate. Um, instead, CBD oil can be used for a couple of different things. Actually, a friend of mine um, had a sh shoulder uh, socket surgery, shoulder, shoulder, what was his surgery? It was a couple years ago. And he said the pain was so bad after the surgery, he could not sleep at night. And he's not the kind of person who would sleep 12 hours or anything near it, but he couldn't like get a couple of hours consistently. And he tried everything. He tried the medication, he tried uh, you know, the, the painkillers that the doctors gave him. He tried aspirin, he tried this, he tried that. And then he went and got some CBD like chocolates. And that was like the only thing that let him sleep. I don't believe CBD has any addictive properties. I've never heard of it having any, but it can help lower pain and it can support immune system and it can support relaxation and calming. Um, for me, most importantly, I think are like pain and immune system. And that's because I don't have cockatoos. I don't have the space for cockatoos. Cockatoos, stereotypically speaking, are going to be your loudest and biggest pluckers, and so I don't have that. My um, my African Greys pluck, and they came to me that way, and um, I adopted them as adults. And once they pluck, it's really hard to change. And and mine, the plucking has gotten better, but I think they just have some bald spots now. Eh, not not you know what are you going to do? But anyway, um, why do I like this for pain and immune system? I like anything that supports their immune system. You know, I mean, that, that's obvious, right? Anything that's gonna help my parrots be healthier and have a stronger immune system that's gonna support that, enhance that, um, or whatever, like make that better in any way, shape, or form, I'm thrilled about. The other thing is, anytime something happens and your parrot is in some sort of emotional emergency, like for example, if, um, if friends come over and your bird freaks out, <laughs> uh, then this is a great thing to have because you can give them a couple of drops and it can help them relax and not, you know, kind of not stress. Is it going, is it a sedative? No. If it's gonna just support relaxation and support calming. Or if something happens and your parrot's injured, and let's say let's say another bird, another one of your birds bites one's toe, you know you don't want them to like pick at their toe, their own toe, because they do that and they, they get you know they kind of like it swells. If it swells, then they pick at it, and that's like the last thing you want. So the. At that point, I'll give them some CBD to help them calm down. Now, once upon a time, I had a green cheek conure, Tink, 
and she had neurological damage. She came to me that way. So she could not fly and she um, had a hard time walking and then started having seizures. And that's what, uh, that, that freaked me out. If you've ever had a parrot have seizures, um, it, I thought she was dying the first time. I really did. It's freaky and uh, you don't know what to do. It, it's, and it's apparently not uncommon. Like it happens. Parrots get seizures just like humans get arthritis. Like it, it can happen. So we developed our own Tink CBD oil and, um, and I'm going to make it available on my site soon. If you are interested in getting some, just send me a message on Facebook under Parrot Bliss. Um, it, it really helped Tink with her seizures. They, they didn't magically disappear. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But, but they reduced and they just didn't seem as bad. So it, that was just awful. I mean, I don't know if there's anything worse than seeing anyone you care about having a hard time like that. So, so those are some of the very different, different benefits and different ways you could use CBD. Um, I put it on my parrot's vegetables in the morning when I want to do that. Easy peasy. You can also drop a drop or however many in their mouth. And of course the label says how many drops depending on their weight and their size, that kind of thing. Very beneficial. I am one of those people that believes food is medicine kind of thing. Not that I don't think medicine's medicine, but I think that food is a nice, easy medicine and natural medicine. So I am a strong believer in making sure my parrots have a nice, healthy diet. And I'm also a strong believer in finding and giving things to them that's going to help them with their immune system, with their health, with, you know, with their beautiful feather, um, you know, their colors, everything like that. That's important to me. So I really like seeking that out. In another video, I will talk about hemp oil which like I said, comes from the same plant, but is different. And I'll talk to you about the benefits of hemp. If you have any questions about your parrot, please be sure to post below and Macy will fly out of the video and I'll make a video for you. <laughs> Catch you next time.